Welcome to the Guana Tolomato Matanzas National Estuarine Research Reserve. The GTM NERR is named after three major rivers that drain Florida's northern coastal basin. The rivers combine with the Atlantic Ocean via St. Augustine and Matanzas Inlets to form an estuary. Early Spanish discoverers who explored Florida's first coast named the three rivers. Guana River means river of palms after the sable or cabbage palm that dominates the river shoreline. The Tolomato River has historical references to the early Native American Indian tribes found in coastal Florida and Georgia and is associated with Spanish missionaries of the region. The Matanzas River means a place of slaughter or massacre after the famous Spanish defeat of the French at Matanzas Inlet, where Fort Matanzas National Monument still stands watch over the inlet. The GTM Reserve contains the last glimpse of old Florida, the way early explorers such as Pedro Menendez and naturalist William Bartram may have seen it. Over 60,000 acres of salt marsh, tidal creeks, beaches, dunes, coastal scrub, maritime hammock, cypress swamp, and pine flatwoods comprise the Guana Tolomato Matanzas National Estuarine Research Reserve. The mission of the GTM Reserve is to protect, conserve, and manage Florida's coastal and aquatic ecosystems through scientific research environmental education, and resource management. The GTM Reserve is divided into two sections. The northern section contains the Guana and the Tolomato Rivers and lies between Jacksonville and the city of St. Augustine. The northern boundary includes the Guana River Marsh Aquatic Preserve the southern section of the reserve covers the Matanzas River from St. Augustine south to Palm Coast. Included are the major tributaries of Moses Creek and the Pellicer Creek Aquatic Preserve. Both Guana River Marsh Aquatic Preserve and Pellicer Creek Aquatic Preserve are designated as outstanding Florida waters recognizing the significant value of these natural resources and providing the state's highest level of regulatory protection. The Guana, Tolomato, and Matanzas rivers form an estuary located behind the barrier island system. An estuary is a partially enclosed body of water where salt water from the ocean mixes with fresh water from the rivers and creeks. This area is constantly influenced by the dynamic forces of the tide, wind, waves, currents, and rainfall. Twice a day, the tide rises and falls as much as six feet in these rivers, creating currents, changing salinities, and alternately flooding and exposing mud flats and oyster bars. The historic Matanzas Inlet is one of only two natural unaltered inlets remaining on the entire east coast of Florida. The Matanzas Inlet has never been channelized by dredging or armored with protective jetties and therefore provides high quality fisheries and does not create the accelerated beach erosion problem that plagues altered inlets. Shallow, shifting shoals characterize the natural inlet. 
This dynamic natural inlet holds great value to commercial and recreational fishermen and is rich with scenic beauty. Estuaries provide important habitat, spawning grounds, and nurseries. Roughly 75% of the nation's commercial fish and shellfish depend on the estuary during some portion of their life cycle. The wetlands associated with estuaries filter impurities from the water, protect upland areas from the effects of storms, and provide a rich feeding area for many animals. A multitude of fish, shrimp, crabs, oysters, and other aquatic life is produced by the estuary, which in turn supports a variety of animals. The productivity of plant and animal life in an estuary is greater than the richest agricultural fields or the densest tropical rainforests. The estuary is the centerpiece of the coastal ecosystem that supports a diverse assortment of plants and animals. The natural communities found in the coastal area provide essential habitat for a number of rare, threatened, and endangered species. Many migratory birds traveling along the Atlantic Coastal Flyway find refuge in the GTM Reserve. The public conservation lands and waters provide some of the few remaining places for animals to live, feed, and reproduce. Endangered least terns and sea turtles return annually to nest on the open beaches and dunes. The Anastasia Island beach mouse is found only in the grassy dunes of Anastasia Island and the GTM Reserve. The endangered manatee and the bottlenose dolphin are two aquatic mammals that depend on the GTM estuary for their survival. Another mammal, the North Atlantic right whale, migrates annually to give birth in the protected nearshore waters of the reserve. Hunted nearly to extinction because they were the right whale for making oil, they remain one of the most endangered species on the planet, with approximately 325 left. Healthy estuaries sustain vital economic opportunities. The seafood industry, along with commercial and recreational fishing and boating-related industries, have far-reaching effects that depend on healthy estuaries. E.J. Pusetti, a third-generation local fisherman and crabber, has spent most of his life on the waterways of Florida. He has observed many changes in the water quality in our state. Mr. Pusetti comments on his occupational lifestyle. Oh, it's, it's nothing like it. Freedom. There's nobody to bother you hardly, but it's really nice, especially early in the mornings. You know, I make a livelihood off of it. And when you destroy that, well, then I'd have to get into something else or just quit. But I don't think I'll see that in my lifetime because it's still pretty good, even with everything that's going on. The estuary is the magnet that lures residents, vacationers, naturalists, and sportsmen to the area. With its many resources and opportunities, the estuary is the single most important factor in the quality of life that attracts residents, businesses, and tourism. Recreational opportunities such as swimming, surfing, boating, fishing, hiking, hunting, horseback riding, bird watching, and nature photography are made possible by the publicly managed conservation lands and waters within the GTM NUR. Guanatolomato Matanzas National Estuarine Research Reserve includes many important natural communities that sustain a highly diverse assemblage of plants and animals. The salt marsh habitat of smooth cord grass and black needle rush is the dominant emergent vegetation in the estuary. However, the GTM Reserve also contains the northernmost extent of mangrove habitat on the east coast of the United States. 
Rich oyster bar communities are found in the subtidal and intertidal portions of the GTM estuary and can be seen during low tide when they are exposed. The oysters serve to increase water clarity by trapping sediments, stabilizing the substrate, and filter feeding on particulates and nutrients in the water column. In addition, their structure provides habitat and feeding grounds to numerous animals in the ecosystem. Class II shellfish harvesting waters are designated in selected areas of the northern and southern sections of GTM NUR. Adjacent to the oyster bars are tidal flats, which at first glance may appear as lifeless mud or sandbars. A closer look will reveal a rich habitat filled with invertebrates such as worms, clams, crabs, snails, and other creatures that are eagerly sought after by a host of shorebirds and wading birds during low tide, and aquatic feeders such as fish during high tides. Salt marsh tidal creeks, oyster bars, tidal flats, and deeper channels are all potential habitat and productive feeding grounds for fish and the anglers that pursue them. Estuaries produce the foundation of the food web, including schools of mullet, menhaden, and other bait fish, shrimp, plankton, and nutrients that support life in the coastal oceans. The GTM NUR is an integrated program of scientific research, environmental education, and resource management. The reserve staff works cooperatively with the other land managing agencies, local governments, universities, schools, and the local communities to enhance research, education, and stewardship opportunities. The GTM NUR program is administered by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection in partnership with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. Graduate research fellowships and the system-wide monitoring program, or SWAMP, are hallmarks of the National System of Research Reserves. SWAMP is a state-of-the-art water quality monitoring program which uses sensors to record seven different parameters every 30 minutes. By using identical equipment and procedures, the 26 NURs are able to compare and contrast their results with estuaries around the nation. This monitoring program measures changes in the estuarine waters to understand how human activities and natural events can affect coastal resources. Stewardship at the GTM Reserve starts with the 2,600 acres of state-owned conservation uplands leased to the reserve for lead management, known as the GTM Nurguana River Site. This area contains over four and a half miles of ocean front and the southern tip of the Guana Peninsula between the Tolomato and Guana Rivers. About 10 miles of nature trails with views of the intracoastal waterway, Indian shell middens, remnants of the plantation era, and significant upland forest communities are maintained by GTM staff. Stewardship activities include coordinating with the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, environmental regulatory programs, and area resource managers to enhance our collective management of coastal resources. The estuary and coastal natural resources provide benefits and opportunities that draw urban development and population growth. Avid kayaker and local outfitter Brad Miller comments about the importance of the estuary for his future. The estuary is a good thing to have because the estuary is very, very clean and so it's very productive and uh, fishermen know it. 
when you compare this section of the estuary to others in Florida, it's we're undeveloped. We have a lot of conservation land around here, which is a great benefit to us. So we don't have big concrete canyons that we're paddling down. People can come here, hop in a kayak, paddle 20 minutes over to the conservation area and enjoy what feels like an incredibly secluded area, wilderness, with no houses in sight in all of the wildlife, including gators and wood storks, without being that far away from civilization. Our business functions primarily in the recreational market with uh, kayaking and fishing and everything that has to do with both. So it is in our best interest that this ecosystem remain healthy. We are in danger of loving our estuaries to death. Half of the nation's population lives along the coast, and coastal counties continue to grow at a rate three times faster than inland counties. As population grows, so does the pressure put on our natural resources. Without proper care and management, we could harm this important ecological system. The future health of the GTM estuary is clearly linked to land use decisions within the watershed and how we as a community handle future urban growth. Estuaries are national treasures whose well-being affects our health and the economic vitality of our community. Estuaries are irreplaceable and must be cared for if they are to continue to perform their many valuable functions. Each of us has an important role in preserving the coast for future generations. You can help by doing three things. First, learn more about estuaries and the issues facing them. Second, apply your knowledge to your decisions and to community decisions that affect coastal resources. Finally, you are encouraged to take the next step and become actively involved as a volunteer and become one of our partners in preserving the Guana Tolomato Matanzas National Estuarine Research Reserve. For more information about what you can do to help protect these invaluable natural resources, explore the GTM Reserve Environmental Education Center or visit our websites at www.estuaries.gov or www.gtmnerr.org.